All right, welcome back everyone. We got a few things going on here. Uh, just got this stuff loaded up into the truck. Ready to take it into the local machine shop to get some, uh, well, all of it repaired, I guess. Uh, let's see what we got. We got this chunk off the backhoe. It's kind of like the main piece. It's broke. See this here? Supposed to go kind of like there somewhere. But, so that's got to get fixed. And there is that uh, mole bird off the back blade that I made a video about the other day. And we have the, uh, what do you call it, auger off of the side wagon that is shrapneled on the ends. That's got to get fixed and we have a cylinder off of air log loader also that needs to be uh, fixed. It's leaking I guess so it needs to uh, repack or whatever you call it. So. Anyway, so here's a look at our backhoe. Uh, this is a Bradco MD11 or 11MD, something like that. Oh, here it is right here. 11MD2 Bradco. Uh, so this, yeah, this fits our 375 uh, four-wheel drive. Uh, it mounts with that probe. And there's these two pins here or whatever. So... It's got its own seat and controls and stuff, and the stabilizers are right here. It's hard to get a good visual of it because, like I said earlier in the video, it's a part being well, we're taking it to get fixed. Uh, that piece that I showed you in the back of the truck mounts right there and connects to the bottom of the uh, boom here. So yeah, it's not a real good backhoe to be honest, it's kind of junk, it's not uh, heavy enough and there's a lot of slop, especially in the uh, kind of side to side of the backhoe, so it's kind of junk but it's a fair size. The backhoes that you see now on like the 30, 40 horsepower Kubotas are beefier than this one, I think. There is an HD too. I think this is like a MD for medium duty, but there was an 11 HD that was heavier. That's probably what we should have got back in the day, but not much you can do about that now. But it serves its purpose. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get that fixed.